For assignment 13, you're going to add information about the different types of memory. There's two types of memory, ROM and RAM. You should have already read all the information about ROM and RAM and taken a quiz on it. Not to mention this is a refresher of what we did earlier on in the school year. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your folder, go to your Techno Specialist subfolder and open up your PowerPoint because we are going to be adding on to the PowerPoint that we were previously working on. Make sure that you use the examples that I've provided for you to help you answer any questions that it has. You're going to add a graphic organizer to the PowerPoint. A graphic organizer is just a picture that's used to summarize information in a more organized way. You'll be using a specific type of graphic organizer called a stacked list from the Smart Art Graphics. After you open your PowerPoint, page down to the end of your PowerPoint, or you can just click over in the Slides tab. Then you're going to add a new slide, and you're going to add title and content, a title and content slide. In the title placeholder, type memory chips. Don't forget to click the blue floppy. Anytime you, you add something, make sure you're clicking that blue floppy to save that that. PowerPoint as often as you can, at least every five minutes or so. Then you're going to click the insert the smart art graphic icon. Notice that when I move my mouse over, the little screen tip pops up, which tells me what it is. It's the green folder with a piece of paper in the content box. So when you click on that, you get all different kinds of graphic organizers. Click on list to the left and then move your mouse over until you can find the one that says stacked list. Once you find the stacked list, click on it, then click OK. Now we can change the design of this and, and we will. We'll shrink it, we'll delete some boxes, but before you do that, save it again. You need the format and the color changes to fit with your design. So make sure you choose something that works better for your design that matches the colors that you've been using previously. In the first circle, you're going to click and you're going to type ROM. In the second circle, you're going to click and you're going to type RAM. Remember, these are the two different types of memory that a computer has. Then you're going to answer the questions that are in the instructions. First, and you're going to answer them in bulleted brief points. So first, we have what it, what does ROM stand for? It stands for Read Only Memory. The next we have what type of memory is ROM? It is long-term memory. Because remember, a PowerPoint is not meant to stand alone. It's not meant to have sentences. Remember the 7 by 7 rule. Now, why does a computer need ROM. It's necessary to permanently store important information about basic computer functions. If you see the red squiggly line, remember that just means you type something and you need to correct it. We're going to do everything in just the one box. Notice how I'm putting a dash before to kind of create that bulleted list. You can just add a bulleted list. Okay, the final question is what should a person look for when selecting or we're still talking about ROM, so what does a computer need? Why does a computer need ROM? We've answered that, but also we need to talk about why does a customer or anyone care about the ROM? Computers already come with ROM. Make sure you capitalize all the letters of ROM. And it's usually selected by the manufacturer. Now, we need to get rid of this second text box here because we don't need it. But now we need to increase the size of our other text box. So remember, do it from the corners and we can still adjust the location, we can adjust the size, and we can make it look how we want, to, want it to look. But we don't want to make, we don't want it to be too big, we don't want it to be too small. And you're probably going to want to go ahead and delete that second box on the other side. Then again, you're going to answer the questions about RAM. What does RAM stand for? Random Access 
memory. What type of memory is RAM? It's short-term memory. Why does a computer need RAM? It's necessary for programs and files to be temporarily stored so that a person can work with them. Remember not to cover up your logo. See how this box now is covering up that logo? We don't want to cover up that logo. Make sure that both your boxes are roughly the same size so that they look neat and organized. And final question is, why should a, what should a person look for when they're selecting RAM? Let's see. Because they need to look for higher storage capacity. Because it helps the computer run more efficiently. Don't forget, well, even if you're going to make more changes, still go ahead and click your, your, slide, your Save As. Click off of it to make sure that it's not covering that logo. Remember, Control-A will select everything, or you can click and drag, and you can change the alignment. to the top instead of the middle and that would allow you to change the size of your font to make it a little bigger. You just don't want to make it too big. And notice how it's automatically changing it over here on the other side. So align your text to the top but make sure that you can still see everything. And then save and submit it.